back sometime. Tested yesterday for murdering a woman in Marshfield, had two passports, and neither of them was a valid U.S. entry. New information just in a new Center 5 right now. It appears that Situate police previously arrested the suspect but never told immigration. And as Janet Rue reports tonight, ICE will seek to have him deported. Plymouth District Attorney Timothy Cruz said today that two passports were found in the Marshfield apartment Marcello Almeida shared with his girlfriend, Patricia Froyas, who was stabbed to death yesterday. Today, while Almeida remains in custody at South Shore Hospital, Cruz's office said both Brazilian passports found had his name and photo, but one had a bogus visa that was issued to a Kuwaiti woman eight years ago. The second passport had no U.S. visa. Tonight, ICE released a statement that said Almeida had been previously arrested by Situate police, but ICE was never notified. The agency would not say when this arrest occurred. I understand people are very keen to make... Uh to make headlines uh, from, uh, frankly, from other people's grief. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I think it's important that the law be enforced, and we are doing our role in enforcing the law. Patrick said Froyas's death is about domestic violence, but the question of how important the Secured Communities Program, which Patrick will not enforce in Massachusetts, is to preventing criminal activity, was front and center for his critics. The governor is adamant it only encourages racial profiling, not public safety. The only people who manage the fingerprints are in the FBI. So the question about who, and we are sending convictions to ICE, by the way. Uh, so the question about the sharing within the federal government is up to the federal government. Information on those arrested, however, is not automatically sent to ICE by every city and town. And law enforcement officials say direct information sharing with ICE saves time on sorting out aliases. And because identification is an issue, and obviously some of uh, the cases involved involve multiple deportations, I think it all also raises the issue of the need at the federal level uh, and also with the states cooperating on identification to move forward for public safety. Meanwhile, attempts to arraign Almeida at his South Shore hospital room were thwarted later this afternoon. A Plymouth DA spokeswoman said Judge Rosemary Minahan was headed to the hospital when she was informed the defense attorney was not available due to illness. Liz. All right, Janet, thank you.